Hello. A friend of mine has asked me to look at this. It's an incubator for herptology. Herptology? I think that's the right word. Uh, this one's by Lucky Reptile. And you'll be lucky if anything hatches in this one because it's broken. So this is the inside of the incubator. Behind this fan is the heater. So we'll remove this fan and the heat sink. And then you've got two screws in here. When you undo these, look out for the heat sink in the front of the unit falling off because there's one in the front of the unit. As you can see it's absolutely terrible quality. And there's the faulty heater. So this is the heat sink that's on the inside that you need to keep a hold of. This obviously fits on there. Now this is a TEC1 12705. When you follow the cables down here to the main board, if you probe those cables with the machine switched on, you got a minus 12 volts. So it looks as if it's actually been fitted at factory the wrong way around. Another YouTuber, Simon C, connected his up with red to red and black to black and the machine didn't work properly. It was only when he switched around the red to the black and the black to the red, the unit actually started working properly. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the replacement on the wrong way around and hopefully that'll get this unit working. Here's my replacement. TEC12705. Look at the difference. At some point, these have been wired up differently. The new one, the live, is on the right hand side, and then the old one, the live, is on the left hand side. Because one side of these heats up and one side cools down. So, which is which? So, I am going to swap the cables over, like Simon did. I'm going to tin these, solder them, and put some heat shrink on. Pop some heat shrink on here before I start and I'm going to connect up this new one what appear would be the wrong way around so this is on Simon if it doesn't work I'm going to blame him I'm going to use some warm air from my hot air station just to shrink those down if it'll reach so that should be it so it's just a matter of case of putting this back together I'll put some new MX4 on I can not remember if the writing faced out are faced in so I'm gonna to have to have a look and see which way Simon did it. The original one was the text facing out. So we'll do that. That was on the inside. I'll put a bit of thermal paste on there just to hold it. You try and get this other heat sink on without that moving. Which is easier said than done. I might be best off putting the heat sink in there. That. that wants to go on like that. I've got, I've got no way of screwing that in to there without the other side moving. I think the best thing to do, this is the inside piece, is to take off the inside piece, take this off from here, and screw this part onto this part with the heatsink in place. That'll be easier. When you take this apart, take off the the interior heatsink first, and then this back piece with the heater attached inside will all pull out the back and then it's easier 
because you've separated this from the front you can put the heating element in there and connect this up much easier outside of the case that way you can be sure that the heating element isn't going to move there's the rear heat sink the heating element and the the piece in the middle and then that can go through there and you screw this one in from the other side that's the heat sinks sandwiched back together from the from the inside I'm just putting this fan back on these are the new cables make sure they don't get caught in that fan I'll be all right down there we'll pop this back cover back on I think we'll test this before I put all the screws in the back so we'll switch on and we've got 24 degrees I'll turn this up I've turned it up to 50 and we'll see if that starts going up I'm on 24 you can of see very well no I'm still on 24 no it's not working at all what's happening on side that is not heating up there's no temperature coming through there no I've got nothing Fifty. Set it at fifty. I'm stuck on twenty-four. Oh, have I got to close the door? Close the door now. See if that makes a difference. Now the fan started up, but the temperature's not rising. Nope. Right, get it back open. Switch it off. So there must be something more to this. Right, I'm switched on, so I've got to be careful of this power supply, but I've got it set at 40. There's some connectors here, which I've taken off. I'm just going to push them in, make sure they're all the way in. But they are just for the light and the, the stuff on the front panel. Ah, now look at this fan started up. I'm going to probe the power to the heating element, and I do get minus... 12 volts so that heating element is getting power it's climbed up to 25 but that's only one degree so I'm going to leave it for a few minutes and see what happens Okay, so I'm on 26 at the moment. It's it seems to take a while to kick in. I'll set this at 50, 28, 29. Right, that's heated up to 37 degrees, and it's still going. So I think that's a successful test. Light works. I'll power that off. Uh, I'll put it back together properly, and I can give it back to my friend and eventually get it out of this room because it's too big.